first, the news at this hour I'm I for Wharton. First up, the Guyana police force has placed two of its ranks under close arrest as the police continued to investigate the killing of Peter Headley. The police said a 45 year old man of Dowden Street Kitty was detained by the police on an allegation of theft. And while he was being transported to the Providence Police Station, things took a turn for the worse. According to the police, Headley reached under the seat of the vehicle and pulled out what appeared to be a firearm, causing the arm rank to discharge a rung which struck him with his body. His family is not buying that story and wants the police to come clean on the matter. The family spoke with the media outside of the hospital mortuary at the post-mortem examination this morning. No bandit is a father, he's a brother, he's a husband and he's a friend to so much that love and miss him. He's not no bandit. You could ask the entire kitty. He's not no bandit. He does more give than even want to take from people. He's not no bandit. That they murder him. Whatever reason, I don't know, but they murder him. Whoever did it, they have his phone also, and we need justice. This is not fair for just stop somebody and then they die. Even if, whatever they are alleging, they have a law to guide everything. You don't just kill people like that. He has a name. His name is Peter Headley. I know what the name is. not no murderer. Does the police have any record of him being a murderer, a, a robber man? No. My brother never been locked up here for no drugs nor nothing, right? He already served his time in the United States and that was years ago, over 18 years. And According to the police report, ranks were following up on an investigation into an alleged armed robbery that was committed at Hurstelling on the east bank of Demerara on May 11th. The police are claiming that acting on information received at around 20 hours 45 on Saturday, May 15th, the police ranks intercepted a motor vehicle with two men inside at Nandi Park on the east bank of Demerara. The police are reporting that during a search of the vehicle, a television set that is suspected to have been stolen during the armed robbery was found. As a result, the driver, 45 year old Peter Headley, of the Olden Street Kitty, and the other occupant were arrested. His family said Peter was not a thief and he has no criminal record in Guyana. Headley was deported from the United States in 2010 for drug trafficking. We are at the Port Martin right now. It's straight his heart. Mm. Oh, he, he, he's he somebody's son. We need justice. We need it and we need it soon because this has to stop. And I'm asking the commission and the police to do the investigation correctly and rightly so that we can get just a this must stop. And he don't carry any weapon, not even a knife in the car. So that could not be possible. He was shot close range. What were the police doing in his vehicle in the first place? At the location for the death cannot be verified. It had to be that he was shot close range somewhere else, some other location placed into the car. For it to seem as though he was shot in the car, but he wasn't shot in the car. And then he was taken to the Diamond Diagnostic Center. But that where the actual, actual death, the police when we went to the station said that the incident took place after 11 in the night. Like him is saying that after eight, they got a call after eight saying that to pick up this body from um, DDC. So what then? The police, they're contradicting themselves. You understand? They can't say to you exactly what happened. Why did they put him in the police vehicle? Why are they going into his car? That is his private property. Why are they going into there? He have no reason to thief, no TV, no reason. That is a cover up. This did not go into any further details on the shooting, but posited that the police office of professional responsibility were calling to probe the shooting death. The police did not say whether or not Headley was handcuffed, if the vehicle he was in was searched, and did not reveal what type of weapon he pulled. Headley succumbed while receiving medical treatment at the Diamond Diagnostic Center. Family violence is violence directed at another family member. 
It can be physical, verbal, sexual, and more. Family violence leads to despair, destruction, and death. It can happen to both men and especially women from any background. Children are especially vulnerable. And the stress and isolation due to the COVID-19 pandemic can increase family violence. Family violence is illegal in Guyana. If you or someone you know is experiencing gender-based violence, family-based violence, or sexual harassment, contact the Women and Gender Equality Commission at 231-5276 or 231 5298. Or put an anonymous note in the post office boxes at the Guyana Human Rights Commission building, the Guyana Post Office Corporation, the National Library, the Georgetown Public Hospital, and the University of Guyana. Range. Iman Cosmetics is for every woman and features a line of skincare products and cosmetics including 16 foundation shades, powder, concealer, lipstick, blush, eyeshadow, highlighter and BB cream. Visit us at Lot 75 Swamp Section, Rosal Town. That's behind the market. Or call 337-4422 or 688-9249. Collins firm on 649-6410. They are located on Lamaha Street between Camp and Waterloo in the K-Line Mall. Call them today and experience service unlike any other. The country's COVID-19 death toll is now 344. The Ministry of Health today reported three additional deaths. The fatalities are that of two females aged 60 and 45 years old and a male aged 68. They are from regions 4 and 3. Meanwhile, the Ministry recorded 81 new COVID-19 cases, taking the country's total case count to now 15,352. 1,908 persons are in isolation, of which 1,799 are on approved home isolation, with 112 in institutional isolation. 15 persons are said to be in the COVID-19 ICU. The Guyana Police Force today issued wanted bulletins for two men from the mining town of Linden. Kevin Adams, according to the police, is wanted in connection with the March 6 murder of Samuel D'Souza, while Nikolai Cameron is wanted for rape. The police have said that persons with information that may lead to the arrest of Kevin Adams and Nikolai Cameron are asked to contact the nearest police station or emergency 911. All information provided will be treated with the strictest of confidence. The news is powered by Royce and Drake's production. For these and other stories, do visit our website at www.rdproductiongy.com.